Now, Red Bull's current situation with the helmet Marco seems to have reached its boiling point. And although Marco was perceived as the untouchable human being in the Austrian team, he's very likely to get replaced in the foreseeable future. The board of the team is having a meeting on this matter, and according to the experts, as well as some internal reports from the new shareholders of Red Bull, Marco should be afraid for his future. So, will the Austrian company start a rebuild process in its racing team when it comes to its leadership? And if so, will Horner get out of this entire situation as a winner, considering the fact that he's been actively lobbying for Marco to be removed from his position? It's safe to say that Helmut Marco has made some questionable statements about Sergio Perez in the past couple of months, and while they had a solid basis to be made on, Perez having a difficult 2023 season and being inconsistent for the majority of it, the statements were definitely derogatory and mean. They even got the attention of Lewis Hamilton, who said that he isn't surprised by the fact that they're coming from Helmut Marco, as he knows his nature as a human being, but he's surprised that Red Bull is not taking any action against him whatsoever. Be that as it may, it seems like this is going to change very soon. For example, we're going to witness a decision on Helmut Marko's future with the team in the next couple of days. Red Bull is reportedly having a meeting sometime this week to discuss whether or not Marko is still a valuable asset for the team. And based on the statements he's made left and right about Perez's performance, I highly doubt that the new stakeholders from Thailand will have a high opinion on Marko's current influence on the team. The issues between Red Bull and Marco started a couple of months ago, when Marco made a statement that really got the Mexican fans of the sport angry. But it wasn't just them. The entire world started more or less a riot on Twitter regarding Marco being axed. That was even further aggravated by Lewis Hamilton's situation, and the fact that a couple of days later, after the statement, Marco apologized to Perez for his statement goes to show that he's been put under a lot of pressure from the team to actually correct his actions, something we haven't quite seen in the past. When talking about Perez and his nationality being the main issue for his underperformance, Helmut Marco pointed out directly that Perez's ethnicity was the main factor in his inconsistency, and this is something that got him a formal warning from the FIA as well. Horner has gone on to elaborate on this matter even further, as he said, Those comments weren't right. Helmut quickly recognized that and apologized for that both publicly and directly to Sergio. He spoke to Sergio directly about it. You're always learning in life, even at 80 years of age. Inevitably, lessons have been learned. Checo is a massively popular member, an important member of our team. I pushed very hard to sign him for the 2021 season. From Helmut's perspective, he has apologized. He's not an employee of Red Bull Racing, so in terms of why we didn't put out a statement, he's part of the Red Bull Group, and the group issued an apology through the service TV channel. This is something that has a lot of value to the entire case. Helmut Marko not being an employee of Red Bull, and even though Horner would love nothing more than to publicly reprimand Marko, now that the tension between Perez and Verstappen has settled down in terms of the championship fight, that's not possible from his side. And this is just the first statement that got Marco in trouble. Keep in mind that in the past couple of weeks, Marco has spoken about Perez's future yet again, implying that the veteran driver needs a new team in order to succeed in the sport. In an interview with OE24, Marco went on to speak about Perez's future with the team, as he went on to even imply when the 33-year-old driver's future with Red Bull will be known, saying, The relationship between me and Perez is very good. He supported me enormously through my statement. Many forget, but I brought Perez to the team. Then what awaited him with Max Verstappen is what previously happened with Gasly. Perez needs a change of scenery and team. Let's see how the next two races go, but the team and he are aware that he is in crisis. Will Perez leave Red Bull for his own sake? You don't want to hear an answer from me on that just before the Mexican Grand Prix. Well, this is something that Red Bull has debunked almost immediately, saying that Perez is a safe driver for them in the upcoming season. And statements like this are only hurting his and the team's reputation even further. But there comes a time where enough is enough. And after the new leadership of Red Bull has changed, after the passing of Dietrich Mateschitz, who was Helmut's best friend and the owner of Red Bull, there is a new sheriff in town, and he's called Oliver Mintzlaff. Although Oliver is not really pushing for this agenda to happen, the team will have a board meeting where the new Thai shareholders are going to want Marco to be axed, something that Red Bull might not be able to turn a blind eye to, especially after having Horner push for more power in his leadership activities for both teams, Red Bull and Alpha Tauri. 
At the age of 80, maybe the smartest thing would be to fall back and just let it be. But considering the fact that Marco did promise the second seat in Red Bull to many young drivers, such as Liam Lawson and Yuki Tsunoda, this might be the sole reason as to why his critiques towards Perez have been very sharp. O Globo, which is the largest television station in Latin America, has reported that the board meeting at Red Bull is going to be centrally focused on Helmut Marco and his future with the team. And they base their thesis on the article by Luciano Berti, who is an F1 commentator and a former active member in the Premier class as well, racing in 2000 and 2001 for Jaguar. If you recall correctly, Red Bull completed a buyout on Jaguar, and that's how they entered the sport in the first place back in 2005. So it's easy to guess that Luciano has some close contacts within the team from his old racing days. And that's how he managed to pull this news off. But what exactly is going to happen in the foreseeable future for Marco and Red Bull? After the passing away of Dietrich Mateschitz, it was commonly guessed that his son Mark would take the reins over. But Mark has realized that the fellow Thai shareholders are trying to pull more and more of the strings. And one of the main points that these shareholders want to be decided as soon as possible, and preferably in their favor, is the direction the entire company should take, including both of its racing teams, Red Bull and Alpha Tauri. It seems like Christian Horner has the support of the Thai shareholders, and in this boxing match, on the other side of the corner is Helmut Marko and the support that's been left behind by the late Dietrich Mateschitz, a match that the Austrian veteran is poised to lose due to the massive investment from the shareholders. Since Mateschitz's passing, Horner has been trying to gain full control of the Red Bull Group's motorsport activities, and while doing so, he managed to get the support of Oliver Mintzlaff, the advisor of Red Bull's board since Dietrich's death. One case that goes heavily towards the fact that Horner has a great impact on Red Bull's decision is the fact that Peter Bayer was appointed as the CEO of Alpha Tauri, something that the Brit made a strong case for the former FIA employee. Furthermore, it seems like Horner is not a huge fan of Sonoda as well, and just like he wasn't a huge fan of De Vries, the situation is going to change rapidly if the Japanese driver doesn't show any potential in the remainder of 2023 as well as 2024, as Horner is not seeing a long-term candidate for the Red Bull seat in him after how Lawson has debuted in the past couple of races, replacing Ricardo. Still, the future of Marco is under a huge threat, and O Globo states that for the first time in his stay with Red Bull, the advisor must seriously fear for his position. Although Perez has been dubbed to continue the 2024 season as a Red Bull driver, that might change with Ricardo poised to make a push for the seat late this year. And he has five more races in 2023 to prove that he can perform under pressure. So, what do you think about Helmut Marco being sacked by Red Bull? Let us know in the comments down below.